Hi, this is Starlight Amnicat, also known as Rainy Starleaf, and basically today what I'm doing is I'm using this OC maker that I found on Pinterest, link in the description on YouTube at least, um, and it has all sorts of options, and so I just decided, hey, why not do that? And so that's what I did. So the first rolls on the number generator, I recorded wrong. Uh, I don't know why I did, I just wasn't thinking straight. Uh, I will put little clips of them over this um, as I draw the things. But first of all, I got um, water species uh, for species. Uh, then I got trans for gender and I decided right then and there that um, this character would be he him, uh, female to male. Uh, because I don't have many uh, guy OCs, at least in my opinion. Uh, for skin color, I got this dark shade. Uh, I thought it was a really nice shade for this character. Um, I also don't have many characters that aren't pale as frick. For hairstyle, I got long, and for hair, I got wavy. And so I tried my best to just show it off as wavy best I could. For hair color, I got uh, really dark colors. I thought that they were going to be too similar to the skin color, so I decided to use the lighter shade as the top base um, and thought, hey, that would work really well. For eyes, I got cat eyes. Uh, I didn't really know like what to color them because there wasn't any eye color or clothing color options so i just decided if they're cat eyes might as well go for a nice amber color um and i thought it worked really well for a mouth i got stitched um so you know i just added some stitching for top i got dress um and so I drew in a little dress. I was making, I was, I was having some trouble doing the, picking the color for the dress because again, there's no eye color or clothes color options. And it does show a dress there, but I thought that the colors would clash a bit. So I ended up going with an orange color, uh, similar to the amber that I used for the eyes. Bottom, I got skirt, but I didn't think of how I could fit a skirt under the dress since I already drew the dress so long. For shoes, I got my choice, so I just chose sandals. Um, for accessories number one, I got gloves. For accessories number two, I got my choice, so I added a little heart tattoo. I thought it was really cute. And for sexuality, I got gay. And so... After I chose all of those, I um, then decided, hey, why not doodle this character, maybe make a couple changes. And the first uh, change that's really apparent is the fact that I um, gave them a braid. I gave them braids. Um, I thought it just looked nice and I know sometimes wavy hair works with braids and also braids make wavy hair so i was like uh why not so i gave them braids um and the rest i basically just was sketching the body and stuff and honestly after that there really wasn't much to go off of most of the sketch was me tweaking the body and trying to make things work and i did have a lot of trouble with the hands as you can see um but eventually i did end up making it work but um but you'll see as it goes on uh i did wait until i got the body completely done uh to add the dress and i did remove the gloves and the sandals so those I did end up removing, but you know, other than that, it's basically the same character and I didn't end up coloring it. 
but you do get to see the sketch, which I'm really proud of the sketch because I use dynamic posing when I don't really do that. But anyways, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. So just enjoy some music while you watch the rest of the video.